Yes, we're back. We're back again in ETS2. We're back again carrying on our roaming driver series where basically we're going from as far away from London as we can back to London, only taking quick jobs. So I've got no idea what truck we're going to be in. I've got no idea where we're going to go. I've got no idea what load we're going to take. Last time we got to Targo Mures in Romania. Uh, this time we're going to carry on from there and see where we end up. And no, it won't be in that Volvo because that's the last one I used on a stream. Hmm. Professional? Me? No. Grab my guidebook to professionalism in ETS 2. Uh, let's go. So hi there, Steve here, and yes, welcome back to ETS2. So yeah, if you are new to this content, welcome indeed. It's currently going out on a Sunday on the channel. Uh, on a Monday, we've got something from OMSI. On a Wednesday, something from Trains. On a Friday, something from Fernbus. And then a, a series on a Saturday of farming and flight, all sorts of stuff. So yes, the aim is to try and get from as far away uh, in the map as we could, which was down here because I couldn't get a job from there, uh, all the way back to London, uh, only using quick jobs. And last time we got to Targa Mures, round here in Romania, uh, and not split. Uh, and we're going to see what we can get from, from here. I genuinely have not looked uh, prior to pressing record uh, to see what there is. I have set the jobs previously by um, shortest distance. So we'll see what we end up with. Let's click on the job market then and go quick jobs and uh, go and find... Uh, where we were. It was Romania somewhere, wasn't it? Targa Mures. Okay, so Debrecen, 245 miles um, in a Volvo. That is closer to London. So uh, Debrecen, I think it is then. Let me take a screenshot of that. I'm going to click on take job. So Debrecen, at least that's heading roughly in the right direction. It's getting us slightly more westwards. Um, and in another Volvo, but okay, you know, we don't mind uh, a Volvo. Um, okay, let's... Um, Ready to roll. I'm not sure what flavour of Volvo it is. Let's get rid of that Pratt nav, get rid of that there. Pop some lights on. Have a look at it from the outside. Well, not bad, actually. Not bad at all. We'll get rid of that. Do that. Put that back. So what are we? We're at 700. Oh, blimey. That's too much power. Okay. Popping in forward. Oh, that sounds quite nice, actually. Oh, it's actually where we came into as well. It is. It's the same place. I remember coming across that bridge. So it's exactly the same place we came into. Oh, that's cool. God, imagine if I got that. So the driver didn't even have to walk anywhere. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. So... Not a huge fan of Volvos, but I said I'll try and take the shortest job. As long as it's somewhere around a couple of hundred miles. Um, and it is getting us somewhere we haven't been. It would be nice to end up in a vehicle that we haven't been in before. So I've no idea what time of day it's going to be. When we uh, do these. So the only mods I'm using, if you've not seen this series so far, uh, is Pro Mods uh, with the Middle East pack and the Global Company and Trailers pack. I'm not do using any other mods. But I really want to see if we can get this journey back to London started and if it turns out to be a success I would like to do something similar or the same basically in uh, ATS they're currently not doing trucking as much uh, as we were on streams uh, gonna do it once a fortnight as opposed to once a week we 
which is one of the reasons why I wanted to do this just to keep my hand in and uh, continue with trucking because I really really do like ETS2 it's one of those uh, sims that I've just not got bored with and again all little tweaks all the little things that they're doing to improve it um, and make uh, make it better do genuinely enhance the gameplay you know, I'm not a fan of hugely powerful trucks this being a 700 for me is just too much power especially if you're only putting three tons or the load three tons the trailer obviously is more than that This AI guy obviously trolling me a bit. Come on then. But at least we got daylight this time and hopefully a shorter journey. Well, it is shorter. I mean, time wise. And not so many uh, border crossings as we had last time. Okay, it's quick. We're off the needle. Off the needle. The needle's off the speedo. Okay, that's very quick. We've gone past Back to the Future speeds. Blimey. Okay, I didn't honestly expect this sort of speed from this thing. Ninety-eight miles an hour. I'm sure that would do a hundred. Blimey. Well, I covered some ground. And we've got to come off here. So, yeah, if you are into your trucking, um, do check out the Discord server. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Uh, a fantastic community over there. And uh, all sorts of sim content. Um, but we're all pretty much fans of ETS2. So if you've got a favourite truck, a favourite road, um, then uh, do post some screenshots in there. Share them with us. It would be great to see them. And uh, also, down below, I'll leave a link to the Twitch page uh, where you can catch me live on Twitch six days a week currently. Uh, streaming all sorts of stuff. You know, farming, flight, trains, buses, everything and some single player stuff as well. Get ready to turn right. Well, I can certainly see if you were the sort of driver that wanted to get somewhere quickly, that this amount of power would actually do it. You know, 98 miles an hour there is, is pretty rapid for a truck. Scania being my favourite brand, but I'm not a fan of the the powerful ones. You know, I'm happiest in a Scania 360, if I'm more honest. Oh, nice little crane there. I love this map. You know, Pro Mods do such a good job 
enhancing what is already a fantastic map from SCS. And the fact that we've now got pro mods in multiplayer makes a huge difference. And obviously rumours that we're going to get um, server-rentable multiplayers. So us as a Sims and stuff community will be able to have our own multiplayer server. Bring it on. You know, if we can put pro mods and we can put mods on that in the same way as we do with um, farm sim, etc. That's just going to be brilliant. And if it's got um, AI, that's just wow. To be able to drive in multiplayer with AI. So between you and someone else in the convoy uh, will be AI traffic. It would certainly mean that we'd have to drive properly. So we'd have to stop at red lights. We'd have to, you know, not drive like idiots that we do sometimes. Um, but I'm really looking forward to that if that comes out this year. The fact that then every bit of uh, trucking content that I do would be on our own dedicated server. So, you know, you wouldn't need to play in single player anymore. You would just jump on the server. Um and do any trucking you wanted to do. And while you're on, someone else from the community would be on. So you could pass someone randomly doing another job somewhere. That would just be so cool. Oh, I do hope we get that. So another reason to be part of the Sims and Stuff community. Another reason to check out that Discord if you're into trucking. Right, we've only got 150 miles to go. And then we've made it to Debrecen. And then next time, we'll carry on from Debrecen. Oh, you're going in there. You're just going to pull out on me, aren't you? Yep. Yeah. Wow, AI. I've turned off the uh, the Pratt Nav uh, telling me to slow down. Because no one needs that in their life. Why are you slowing down now? Oh, because you knew the speed limit was going to change. Crafty. Definitely crafty. Come on, then. Thirty to 31. These towns look really nice, though. Again, it's the little bits of detail that just make this a real pleasure to drive in. You know, we haven't got much AI traffic coming the other way. So the mix of um, of traffic in certain areas, you'll get a lot. Certain times of the day, it builds up. Over the river. Looking rather nice. And the game audio in this just sounds so good as well. Where are you going? Why are you stopping? Are you indicating? You're not indicating. Oh, you just decided not to indicate. Okay. Come on, Gearbox. Sort yourself out.
Get ready to turn right. Get ready to turn right. Turn right. I'm going to turn right then. Oh, I still got another truck. Just get rid of one. Let me get another one. Okay, we've got to turn left up here. I was going to go for the overtake, but not if we're turning left. That would be slightly dangerous. Turn left. Oh, crossing's coming down. A reasonable length of train as well. Oh, hang on. Well, oh, they're close together. Okay. Right, are we going to get another one? Good. Right, 102 miles to go now. Getting ready to turn right. I'm getting ready to turn right. Turn right. I'm turning right. What's called cool? digger? I think it's our crossing coming up. I'll we'll step behind this truck in case there's a dedicated truck lane we've got to go in. there is around here and I need to go where he is Could probably go in that other lane. R8000. Checking my documents. Please wait. I will wait then while you check my documents. It's fine. Okay, through here, five miles an hour. Thank you. 
top weight is 19 ton. I may proceed. Well, that's good. So around here. Through another crossing. Truck came the other way. So we'll pick this lane here because it's free and we like free see so they're checking his load well that was quick checking his load over there it's like no you've got some counterfeit bags of flour hungry I am a little bit actually Come on then with your R8000. Get a move on. Okay. I'm going to have to go for the overtake here. Before he pulls out and just holds me up all down this road. So I knew that was going to happen. Oh, look. We get rid of one truck and and we get another truck. It's like when you drive on a country road, isn't it? Someone driving really and slowly in front of you turns off and you go, yay! You finally put your foot down. The next junction, someone really slow pulls out in front of you. It's like, oh. So I don't know now why we're doing 18 miles an hour in a 43. Even the AI is overtaking the AI. There we go. Got past. So let me know below if you're enjoying this series. Um, and uh, hopefully you want to continue to see more. Give it a thumbs up. It certainly does help if you do that. It brings it up in the old YouTube all the algorithmic algorithmic things. The more thumbs, the more views, the more views, the more thumbs, the more people, the more thumbs, the more thumbs, the more views. It's just better. Thumbs, thumbs are good. We like thumbs. And yeah, if you want to see more of this and other content and you haven't done already, then uh, do hit subscribe. So somewhere between five and six videos a week from me uh, going out at 6 p.m. UK time. Fifty two miles to go. So we're going on that road that's up above us then we're going to end up on that Turn left then. Turn left again. And over that bridge we just went under. train tracks slight bit of speeding see if we can cover some ground
turn left down here. Okay, no one's coming from down there then. Road blocked off. Right, 30 miles to go. I get my chance to build up much speed going down there. I like the fact that it's not all just motorways. You know, I like the fact that we are on these you know variety of roads. You know, the the scenery is just it's just stunning. It really is. Um, this is definitely one of those sims that just everyone should have Break, 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 break. Turn left. Yeah, a little Volvo done okay. So it'd be nice to find a variety of trucks. Obviously, the two shortest journeys we had at this time were a Volvo and a Scania, which we've used both before, but I haven't driven the old Volvo yet. Um, so hopefully next time we get something different. As I said, I do not look beforehand to see what we've got. Um, so we'll try and take the shortest job that is going in the direction that we want to be going in, basically. Uh, light is red. Light is green. Truck not moving. As we are. Come on, then. Light is green. Go. Blimey, it took so long to decide to go. Take him. Got to turn left up here anyway. And we're coming into the Brecon. Keep left and then turn left. Okay, green light. Turn left. Slight bit of speeding. Three miles to go to drop off our load. So we will carry on from here next time, uh, continuing our journey towards London. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully a different uh, sort of vehicle. I'll try and pick a similar sort of distance, but I say I don't know what I'm going to be getting until I jump in. So uh, it could be that we end up in a few similar trucks. But obviously the loads can be different, the routes can be different. And uh, see how long it's going to take us, how many weeks to get back to London. Get ready to turn left. So I might try and do some of these in a bit of a multiplayer setting. Uh, might even try and get someone to tag along with me for a couple of them. Uh, we will see. Turn left. Here we are, 
safe and sound. Here we are, safe and sound. Sounds like we're dropping off around here. And there we go. We leave our little Volvo behind. So there we are then. Uh, next time we will carry on from Debrecen making our way towards London. Uh, don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know below if you want to see more of this. And do check out those links to Twitch and Discord. And next time, we will carry on from here on our journey in trucks. Until then, if you have been, thanks very, very much for watching. <laughs>